Back in March, Apple announced the long-awaited iPad Mini 5. And this thing is really powerful. It has the A12 Bionic chip and support for the Apple Pencil, making it more powerful than the bigger 9.7-inch iPad. Okay, we've already established that the iPad Mini is pretty powerful, so what about graphic design on the Mini? In this series, I'm going to explore some different niches on the iPad Mini, help you pick out the best app for the job, and see how it performs. Let's get started. So today, we will be exploring graphic design on the iPad Mini. But first of all, why should you choose the iPad Mini over, say, the iPad Air, or iPad Pro, or the iPad... iPad? Well, it's a lot more powerful than the entry-level iPad, which has the A10 chip from 2016, and has the same A12 Bionic chip as the slightly more expensive iPad Air. The iPad Pro, though, is a lot more expensive and powerful than the Air, and is better for more heavy-duty tasks. Overall, I think the iPad Mini is the best deal, because it's the most portable iPad, it's very powerful, and still is relatively cheap. I can recommend this iPad to most people, with the exception of the few people who need the extra power of the iPad Pro. The iPad Mini has a 7.9 inch display, which at first seems like a big setback. Just for comparison, the screen is as long as the Apple Pencil, but when drawing, sometimes you can be even more precise with the 7.9 inch display than with a bigger display, because zooming in becomes a good habit, which definitely helps with accuracy. And with the Apple Pencil, the iPad Mini is even better. The iPad Mini has palm rejection, which means that you can rest your hand on the display while drawing with the pencil. This feature is great because that can help a lot with precision and accuracy. So in conclusion, the screen size is only a very minor problem, and though it will take some time to get used to, most graphic designers will get used to it quickly. Okay, so now that we're done with that, what is the best app for graphic designers? There are two options I will be covering in this video, Affinity Designer and Procreate. First, I think I should note that Procreate isn't actually a graphic design app, but I found that it was a great tool for graphic design nonetheless. So Procreate has a few exclusive features that are very innovative and helpful, like symmetry and quick shape, which makes drawing shapes a lot more precise and has support for many shapes, like triangles, circles, polylines, and ellipses, and a lot more. And in Procreate's recent 4.3 update, you can now add text with a huge selection of fonts and many other customization options. Its $10 price tag is a lot for an app, but it's definitely worth it for graphic design and other types of art. Now, let's move on to Affinity Designer. Affinity Designer is somewhat like Procreate, but it's more centered around graphic design and is two times the price of Procreate. One unique feature that sets it apart from other apps like Procreate is Smart Selection, an algorithm that tries its best to outline a certain object to select for resizing, and more. It also has a feature similar to Procreate's Quick Shape feature, where you can always change the points of a stroke or shape. The UI is very crowded for an iPad Mini, though, so for the iPad Mini, I'd go with Procreate. So, to recap, if you are one of the people who want the best deal possible for an iPad and don't mind the smaller screen size, the iPad Mini is a great choice for graphic design, especially with the new Apple Pencil support. Procreate is very powerful for graphic design and is the best option for graphic design on the Mini for most people. So yeah, anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. Make sure to check out my iPad Mini and Apple Pencil review up in the top right corner. And anyway, guys, goodbye.